What's up everyone, Subterranean here, and today we're going to learn how to make this lead. This is a very upbeat type of lead, which almost has a little bit of a brass or a horn sound to it. Leads like this are commonly used in genres like happy hardcore, but you can use them in any other genre of electronic music, like future bass, trap, or any others. And I've actually heard leads like this used in a couple Dofflin future bass songs before. So, we'll start by initializing the patch and serum. We'll get rid of these external effects. And we'll start with oscillator A, which will be a basic shapes under the analog category. And we'll set the wavetable position to 2, so we have a classic saw wave. Now we'll increase the unison to 16. And let's play with the D2 knob and see if we get a good sound. Zero point sixteen sounds good. It's important when making sounds like this that you don't increase the detune too much, or else you'll get more of a super sod trance sound, which is also really cool, but that's not what we're going for. Now we'll fire up oscillator B, and we'll tune it to the same settings. We'll also put this at 16 unison, and we'll play with the detune on this oscillator as well. About 0.13 will work. Let's turn down our master because we don't want any clipping. 44% works. And so far we have a very generic and bland sound, but we're going to spice it up right now. Let's go to our second envelope. We'll set the attack to 36 milliseconds. And now we'll drag this envelope onto the CRS of oscillator A and B. And before we do anything else, let's tune oscillator B's octave to minus one, so we don't have two saw waves playing the exact same pitch. We'll have one an octave down. And now we have this. We're starting to get there, but there's still a couple adjustments we could make. Now let's go to our effects. We'll turn on a compressor. We'll switch it onto multiband. And now we'll increase the gain. I like it at about 5.8 decibels, and now we'll turn back the threshold. We'll go with minus 13.3 decibels, and that's the only effect we're going to add inside Serum. The rest will be external. Now we're going to go to our LFO. It doesn't matter which LFO you use, I'm just going to use the first one. We'll set the rate to 164. We'll keep the mode on off. And now we're going to go to our matrix. We'll set the source to be LFO1. And we'll set the destination to be master tune, which is under the global category. And that will tune the modulation up to 8. And this is what it sounds like now. Pretty nasty, not very pleasant, but we're going to fix this. What we're doing with the LFO1 is we're creating sort of a pitch vibrato effect which will gradually increase as the sound is playing. Other synths have vibrato features built in which allow you to do this, but Serum sadly doesn't, so we're going to do this with LFOs. Now we'll go back to LFO1, we'll go to Rise, and we'll set this at about 4 bars. And here's what we have so far. Much better. Now that we're done with Serum, we'll close it, and we'll move on to the external effects. The first effect we're going to add is going to be a chorus to thicken up the sound a little bit. Let's play with the feedback and see if we get a sound we like. Not too drastic. Maybe about 36. That works pretty well. And now we'll decrease the dry wet. 39 will do. It's kind of subtle and hard to notice, but I like the extra thickness it adds to the sound. Now we're going to add on a multiband compressor. We'll use the OTT preset. And we're not going to tweak anything within this preset. We'll leave it the way it is, because it sounds really nice on just the OTT preset. 
Now we'll add on a reverb. We'll turn low cut on and leave high cut on and we'll make a curve like this. Very prominent with the high ends because this is a high end lead. Turn off the chorus. And now let's adjust the decay time and see if we get a nice sound. I like it at about 2.11. And now we'll do the same thing with the dry wet. 33%. That's a really nice reverb set. And now for our last effect, we'll add on an EQ8. We're just going to do some very simple EQing. Let's take out those unnecessary low frequencies by grabbing our first EQ band and changing it over to a low cut times 4. And we'll set the frequency to be 173 hertz. And now we'll take our fourth band, which is a high shelf. We'll set this to be somewhere around 5.59 kilohertz. That'll work. And now let's increase the gain and see if we get a nice sound. About 2.260 decibels. One last thing before we play our sound. When you're in Serum modulating the master tune with the LFO, you're going to want to go to the type and change it from bipolar to unipolar. So you'll want to change it to this little up arrow instead of the back and forth. Because if you don't do that, then the sound will be out of tune and the keys you'll play will be lower than what they actually are. And now we have our sound. So that was my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and leave a comment as it really helps us out. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.